Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. This morning, we've been looking at local organizations that are committed to finding ways to reduce traumatic stress for young people and their families. Homelessness and trauma are inexplicably linked. Traumatic experiences, specifically in early childhood, are often a contributing factor in homelessness. My next guest represents a transitional housing program that fosters independence for mothers and children recovering from from homelessness, family violence, and substance abuse. Tracy Curry is the program director for Nia Imani Family Incorporated. How are you, Tracy? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing well, Good. thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. And I wanna start off talking about the significance behind the name of your organization, Nia Imani. Yes, Nia Imani comes from Kwanzaa principles. Mm -hmm. Nia meaning purpose and Imani meaning faith. Okay, and that's Swahili, right? Yes. Okay, and so you take uh, purpose and faith and pull those words together to really, uh, uh, really paint a picture of what it is you're trying to instill into the people that you serve. Absolutely. Okay, I like that. Now, your founder and executive director is Belinda Pittman McGee, yes. and uh, I'm interested in knowing her story of what actually triggered or motivated her to start this organization more than two decades ago. Yeah, Miss Pittman is a, an amazing woman, she mm -hmm. really is, and um, over 20 years ago, 1994, she found herself, well prior to that, she found herself in a predicament in life with her children where she was looking to start all over, okay. and in that journey and coming out of that, she decided that since she had gone through certain things, she wanted to provide a place for women and children that were dealing with the same thing mm. and help them to um, come out as well. So, okay, yeah. so in a nutshell, talk about some of the things that makes your organization special. Well, our organization is really special because um, we're a transitional living program that provides um, furnished apartments. Okay. Um, don't have to have an income when you come. A lot of moms don't have it. They're homeless, some sleeping on the street, in mm -hmm. hospitals, um, wherever they can, from um, friends to families' homes, and they don't have anywhere to go and no money. And Nia Imani will take them in um, even without any money. Wow, so uh, with this apartment uh, complex, we'll call it, mm -hmm. or building, yes. uh, you give women up to two years to live there to uh, kind of uh, deal with whatever scenarios that uh, landed them there mm -hmm. and really give them the skills they need in order to get on the path to take them where they would like to be. Absolutely, the program has been for two years. We since have changed it to one year. Okay. Um, seeing that some women um, who are really extremely focused and grasp the concepts that we teach them, they are un can be ready in a year. Mm -hmm. Some may have to be longer. Okay. And so they can stay up to two years. Okay. Yeah. So, but case by case scenario case then. Case by case scenario. Uh, and then children are able to stay with their mothers. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you guys uh, really take pride in being more than just a roof over someone's head. Absolutely, as yeah. a matter of fact, we say program more than we talk about transitional living or having a place to stay. Um, most women or people who find themselves in a homeless situation, they're desperate for shelter. Mm. So if they come with that idea that this is just shelter, that's all that they'll take it as. We stress that we're a program so that they grasp um, what the program gives them. We're a life skills program. So yes, we do provide a roof over their head, but we teach them life skills to become self-sufficient. Okay. So we have groups that meet that they are mandatory groups to attend where they get parenting skills, uh, money management, financial planning, um, self uh, groups that bring self-awareness, all the things needed um, to become self-sufficient so that once they graduate our program and we help move them into permanent housing, they're able to maintain um, a good living for themselves. That's what it's all about. So uh, when we talk about uh, cycles mm -hmm. of trauma, uh, it leads to poverty, uh, you know, you got violence that takes yes. place and all of these different things. And the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, they wrote a very interesting piece mm -hmm. on trauma and being able to break those cycles that become generational. And in writing that piece that did seek uh, the founder and executive director, Miss McGee, 
yes. uh, to kind of give her input on some of the ways that the cycles can can be and have been broken. Yes. So uh, what are some of the things that you uh, instill in the women in order to uh, kind of change their mindset? Well, we have a variety of groups that, like I said before, are mandatory for them to attend. These are the groups that kind of help them to discover who they are, mm -hmm. who, with what they've gone through, and how that has shaped their lives. So these groups, like Peace from Broken Pieces, um, you know, Finding Peace from Broken Pieces, or um, just our financial group, Learning How to Budget, um, all the groups that bring about self-awareness to help them understand who they are and how they can become what they want to become even after the trauma that they've been through, mm -hmm. even after the, the abuse that they've gone through, that they've endured that they still can make a difference for their own lives and for their children. Yeah, and we talk about issues, of mm -hmm. course, here on this show. And so Milwaukee is considered uh, one of the nation's most impoverished big cities in America. Yes. So trauma researchers have actually found that uh, seeds are planted when the current generation of adults with children uh, the seeds were planted back when mm -hmm. they were kids, and it sadly becomes this horrific cycle. Very true, and that's yeah. what we teach the women as well, that what they're living, they're teaching their children. Mm -hmm. So if all you've known is homelessness, you're teaching your children how to be homeless. So we talk about when they come, they have their things in plastic bags. We talk about not leaving the same way, because that kind of represents homelessness, in mm. a sense. Wow. So what would you say, in your opinion, uh, are some of the primary challenges that are facing Milwaukee and urban areas across the country uh, when it comes to these uh, high numbers of poverty and unemployment? I think a lot of it has to do with not having any low-income housing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they need jobs jobs to help sustain, but also someone to give them a chance in low-income housing. To So you can't keep a job if you don't have a place to stay. If you're not yeah. stable, you can't keep a job. And so the cycle needs to kind of be um, re rewound a little bit mm -hmm. that yes everyone needs a job but you need stability also yeah yeah can't just uh, go and make a check but still not be able to make ends meet right. where you're able to pay your bills right. and uh, really think about and create a future for you and your children right. so yeah that's yeah. an important point and uh, data shows that trauma has been documented in the families of those who survived the Holocaust the Vietnam War and even Hiroshima and that same data is now showing that when you look at families that live in poverty uh, violence and neglect it's the same outcome same thing. Wow. And it's very That's sad. pretty, yeah, and, and it's pretty uh, astonishing when you look at the magnitude of those events that I mentioned, and then you look at the scenarios of mm -hmm. violence and yes. poverty and how yes. people can have that same trauma uh, and, and have to deal with it the same way. Yes. Wow. Uh, so what I love uh, is this um, relationship that Mrs. McGee, uh, who again is the founder mm -hmm. of Nia Amani, she has uh, a love for the wisdom of the turtle. And there's a yes. lot of different uh, things that serve as a symbolism. So when someone graduates from uh, your uh, organization, mm -hmm she gives them a wooden turtle. So help me break it down, because I really do think this is profound. So first and foremost, wood is precious and strong. So mm -hmm. that's the first symbol. Yes. Uh, talk about the rest of the turtle and why she... Well, I'll tell you why the turtle, because at this in this journey of her life, mm -hmm. she knew that she was going to come out, but she found herself like, where she thought she should be down here, she was still right here, mm -hmm. and she couldn't understand it. And one of her mentors told her that it's not about how fast you get there, it's just taking the steps that you need necessary. And then she kind of brought up the turtle, that in the little saying that goes along with it, slow and steady wins the race. Mm -hmm. So she uses that a lot because a lot of us feel the same way. We should be here when we're actually here, you know, trying to get to the end without taking all of the steps. So that's why the turtle 
turtle is so important. I love that. She said uh, patience, the heart shell, yes. the turtle's head, all these things play a role. So yes. when you really pay attention to a turtle and it is walking that slow, mm -hmm. steady pace, its head is held it's high. It's still held high. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's like going to get where it's going. Yes, indeed. And uh, one last thing I wanted to mention uh, in dealing with the Nia Imani Family Incorporated Center. Um, you guys have participants evaluated every 90 days using a tool that's been developed by social researchers at UW-Milwaukee. So you found this to be helpful in what you do? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely, it's very helpful. Um, we're so glad to have these types of tools to help us um, to kind of gauge where um, the progress that the women are making. Yeah, and we do know just from you being there over 20 years that progress yes. is being made. Absolutely. So thank you all for all that yes. you do, and thank, thank you for you. being here thank today. Thank you for having me. Tracy Curry is the Program Director for Nia Imani Family Incorporated, and for more information on anything that we've discussed, you can visit their website at niaimanifamily.org or call 933-1633. That's going to do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. As always, thank you for watching, and I do hope you join us again next week as we take another look at our issues, Milwaukee. Have a great day.